In today's digital world, cyber threats are constantly evolving and becoming increasingly sophisticated. Businesses and public sector organizations are faced with the daily challenge of protecting their sensitive data and keeping their network infrastructure secure, which complicates the task of their IT teams. This is where our dynamic duo comes in, Alcatel Lucent Enterprise Omnivista and Stormshield. On the one hand, we have Omnivista, which, as a unified network management solution, plays a central role in monitoring and managing LAN and WLAN infrastructures. On the other hand, we have Stormshield, which offers smart, connected solutions in order to anticipate attacks and protect digital infrastructures. Today, I am going to show you how these two solutions complement each other and can work together to detect and neutralize threats that can compromise your corporate network. Here is the agenda. First, I will introduce the scenario. Then, I will dive into configuration and demonstration. Finally, I will wrap things up with key takeaways. My name is Mehdi Tarzou. I am a network engineer at Alcatel Lucent Enterprise and I will be your host for this session. I invite you to stay with me throughout this video to discover how this collaboration between these two solutions can proactively and effectively strengthen your company's security. Let's get started. In a zero-trust strategy that employs micro-segmentation, one key element involves addressing hosts where vulnerabilities have been identified. When such an event is detected, we have the capability to swiftly implement quarantine measures. In today's demonstration, I am working in a multiple subnets environment. One of the subnetworks has been compromised by a device that managed to authenticate itself on the network. At this point, the attacker will proceed to perform a Nmap scan to prop the network. Nmap is a popular open source network scanning tool. In Nmap, the fragmentation option is often used during the scan. This option is popular and used to bypass firewall and IDS filters that may be in place to detect and block Nmap scans. When you use this option with Nmap, it sends the scan packets in small fragmented pieces rather than as a complete packet. This can make it more difficult for network security devices to analyze and detect the scanning activity, as some devices may only inspect the initial fragment of a packet and not the subsequent fragments. Stormshield excels at detecting such attacks and will prove invaluable in safeguarding my networks in this scenario. So Stormshield will easily detect and block the traffic. But we need to do more than that. We need to isolate the device out of the network because Stormshield will only block the traffic in line with it but nothing else at this point. Hopefully, one of the key points of this kind of topology is Omnivista's seamless integration and effective collaboration with Stormshield. Stormshield will ensure the transmission of a comprehensive syslog messages, containing all the essential data that Omnivista requires to isolate the device. Leveraging predefined rules within the Quarantine Manager, Omnivista will easily quarantine the device until it undergoes the necessary remediation process. Now let's dive into the demo. First thing first, I will configure two syslog servers. One will be a host with a syslog server to see the details of the syslog messages that we will use to configure our role in Omnivista. The second syslog server will be Omnivista itself. So let's see how it looks like. I am going to configuration, then syslog, and click on the syslog tab. Here I can see my two syslog servers configured. For now, I only need the alarms messages to be sent so I make sure that I unchecked all of the rest. Same for my other syslog server. Here is how the message looks like. Let's clean the history for now. Before going any further, I will open a putty and connect to my switch where the attacker is attached. With a simple command, I am able to see the current list of the quarantine devices. As you can see for now, it's empty. In the attacker point of view, I will first make a simple ping to make sure that I am able to reach the allowed resources in the networks since I am authenticated in the subnet. Alright, everything looks good. The pinged device is a Windows machine in another subnet. Here is its configuration. Now let's actually perform the attack.
I will open my syslog server here. There are some messages coming from StormShield. All the information contained in this message can be useful. We can use them to create the future rule in OmniVista. Here we have the destination IP, the source, the firewall name, and various other informations such as the protocol used or even the interface. Under the StormShield web interface, in the monitoring section, and more specifically alarms, I will be able to see the detected attack. Here I can see the priority, for example, the action that has been taken, and so on. On the right tab, I'm also able to see more details about this alarm. What interests me here is the syslog message. I will get back to it and copy its text in a document. I'm doing this because I will use some of the keywords in the syslog message to build a rule in OmniVista that will trigger the host isolation. So now let's dive in OmniVista. I go under Security, Quarantine Manager. The ban tab here shows all the devices that have been put under quarantine. For now, no action have been taken and the list is pretty empty. Let's create a rule for this kind of attack. So I will name it StormShield block, for example. I will copy the keywords that interest me. So more specifically, action block. The extraction expression here means taking the IP address inside the message right after source equal. I make sure that for this kind of messages, we immediately put the device under quarantine. We could have put the device under a candidate list as well, which will require an additional check from the IT team before taking any action. And I apply. Now I double check that the rule is set and ready to go. Okay. Now let's turn back to my attacker machine. Let's perform the scan again. Let me clean this and wait. I received the detection message from some shield as expected. Now let's see if OmniVista has taken any action. All right, I can now see that a new device is in the list with an IP address ending by 155, which is the IP address of the attacker machine. I can see that the VLAN name is quarantined, which is a VLAN with restricted access, and the MAC address has been added to the MAC group quarantined. Now, if I open my switch again, let's type the command to check if our MAC address is here. It looks like we have a new entry here, corresponding to the attacker MAC address. Let's back to the attacker perspective. I will try to reach our resource in the network just like I did before. As you can see, now I'm not able to ping anyone because I'm placed in a restricted VLAN preventing me to ping the rest of the network. That's it for our demonstration between StormShield and OmniVista. Together, we've explored how OmniVista and StormShield can complement each other and strengthen your company's security. It's worth mentioning that this integration can be carried out at any stage of your deployment, so you don't have to change solution. We follow the process from the creation to the threat detection, including the transmission of the crucial information to OmniVista. It's essential to remain proactive in protecting your sensitive data and network infrastructure. We hope you understand the benefits of this collaboration and that you are now better prepared to secure your business. Don't forget to check out the additional resources we've made available to deepen your knowledge on our website at www.spacewalker.com. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time.